Hello everyone, today we are gonna do an exercise to let our fellow Muslims learn something new from the internet. So whenever we speak about this ex-Muslim movement and how these people are leaving this religion, always these Muslims come up with a report from the Pew Research and they start bragging about the growth of Islam and the fastest growing religion in the world and all. So now we are giving them a chance to learn what exactly is the scenario today. And also, this is something that we always say to them. but. Today we are reiterating to them the same old fact. So let's get into that. Now we are going to speak to Gemini from Google. Hey Google, what is the fastest growing religion in the world? Islam is the fastest growing major religion in the world. Several factors contribute to its rapid growth, including a high birth rate among Muslims and conversions from other religions. Okay. Okay, Google, please tell me more about the reasons behind the growth of Islam. Factors behind the growth of Islam. The rapid growth of Islam is primarily attributed to two key factors. One, high birth rate, young population. Muslim populations, particularly in regions like the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia, tend to be relatively young with high fertility rates. This demographic trend naturally leads to a faster population growth, large families, Cultural and religious factors often encourage larger families within Muslim communities, contributing to the overall population increase. 2. Conversion Attractiveness of Islam Many people find the core principles of Islam, such as monotheism, social justice, and compassion, appealing, active outreach. Muslim communities often engage in active missionary work and outreach programs, which can lead to conversions. Push factors in some cases, individuals from other religions may convert to Islam due to dissatisfaction with their previous faith or seeking a sense of community. Important Notes Declining Growth Rate While Islam remains the fastest growing major religion, its growth rate has been declining in recent decades. Factors like improved education, urbanization, and economic development can influence fertility rates. Regional Variations The growth rate of Islam varies significantly across different regions. Some countries with large Muslim populations, such as Indonesia, have seen a decline in fertility rates. It's essential to approach this topic with nuance and avoid generalizations. The growth of Islam is a complex issue influenced by various socioeconomic, cultural, and religious factors. Okay, now you got to know what exactly is the main two reasons, the increased fertility rate and the young population. So th these are the two things which drives the number of population of Islam or the Muslims in the world. Now let's talk or let's ask something about the ex-Muslims. Okay. Okay, Google. What's the number of ex-Muslims in the world? The challenge of counting ex-Muslims, determining the exact number of ex-Muslims worldwide is extremely difficult. Here's why. Fear of reprisal. Many ex-Muslims fear social ostracism, discrimination, or even violence if they publicly renounce their faith. This leads to underreporting, lack of official records. Most countries do not track religious affiliation changes, making it impossible to gather accurate data. Diverse paths. People leave Islam for various reasons, and the term ex-Muslim can encompass a wide range of beliefs, from atheism to conversion to another religion. While there's no precise figure, it's clear that the number of ex-Muslims is growing. This is evident from the increasing visibility of ex-Muslim communities and organizations worldwide. Would you like to know more about the challenges faced by ex-Muslims or the reasons why people leave Islam? Okay, Google. I need to know both. Challenges faced by ex-Muslims. Ex-Muslims encounter a wide range of challenges, often stemming from the social and cultural pressures associated with leaving Islam. Some of the most common difficulties include social ostracism, Ex-Muslims frequently face rejection from family, friends, and the broader Muslim community. Discrimination and prejudice. They may experience discrimination in various aspects of life, such as employment, housing, and education. Fear of violence. In some regions, ex-Muslims face threats of violence or even death. Legal challenges. In certain countries, leaving Islam can have legal repercussions. Psychological impact. The process of leaving Islam can be emotionally and psychologically challenging. Reasons for leaving Islam. The reasons individuals leave Islam are diverse and personal. Some common factors include Intellectual dissatisfaction 
Many ex-Muslims find inconsistencies or contradictions within Islamic teachings that conflict with their understanding of the world. Moral Objections Some people are troubled by certain Islamic practices or beliefs, such as the treatment of women, LGBTQ plus individuals, or non-Muslims. Personal Experiences Negative experiences within the Muslim community or with Islam itself can lead to disillusionment. Exposure to other worldviews Encountering different cultures and religions can challenge previously held beliefs. Search for personal freedom. Some individuals seek greater autonomy and independence in their lives. It's important to note that these are general trends and that individual experiences vary greatly. Would you like to know more about a specific aspect of this topic, such as the situation for ex-Muslims in a particular country or region? Okay, Google. Tell me more about ex-Muslims in Pakistan. Ex-Muslims in Pakistan. A complex situation. The situation for ex-Muslims in Pakistan is particularly challenging. Challenges faced by ex-Muslims in Pakistan. Blasphemy laws. Pakistan has some of the strictest blasphemy laws in the world. Any criticism of Islam or its prophet can lead to severe penalties, including life imprisonment or even death. This creates a climate of fear for ex-Muslims who may be accused falsely. Social stigma. Leaving Islam is considered a grave sin in Pakistani society. Ex-Muslims often face ostracism, harassment, and threats from family, friends, and the community. Lack of support. There is limited support available for ex-Muslims in Pakistan due to the dangerous environment. Many feel isolated and alone. Forced conversions. In some cases, women are forcibly converted to Islam and married to Muslim men, making it extremely difficult to leave the religion. Limited data. Due to the dangerous conditions, it's incredibly difficult to accurately estimate the number of ex-Muslims in Pakistan. Many fear coming forward due to the severe consequences. It's important to note that the experiences of ex-Muslims vary greatly. While some may manage to leave the country and start new lives, others face immense challenges and risks within Pakistan. Okay, Google. Tell me about the countries who punish apostates. Countries punishing apostasy with death penalty. The religion associated with these laws is Islam. While the specific number can fluctuate due to changes in legal systems and political climates, as of recent data, the countries that have explicitly enforced or codified the death penalty for apostasy are predominantly Muslim-majority nations. Please note, this information is based on available data and reports. The situation can change rapidly, and the enforcement of such laws varies widely. It's crucial to understand that these laws are widely condemned by the international community for violating fundamental human rights, including freedom of religion or belief. Many human rights organizations actively work to protect individuals facing such threats. Would you like to know more about the specific laws in these countries or the challenges faced by apostates? No, thank you. So, hope this clears some of the doubts among the believers, among the Muslims, and some other folks, especially in this world, who uh, think that Islam is a religion of peace and why the ex-Muslims always say something about this Islam, criticize Islam in this manner. So this is the reality and this is the reason or this is, these are the things which every ex-Muslim, almost every ex-Muslim face in this world and this is the same reason why most of the ex-Muslims remain closeted without publicly announcing or without even expressing their disbelief because if they do it, there's even a threat to their life. So let this be in the air out there and let's hope some of the believers will get something out of this thank you nammala video kandukondirikkunna aalukal channel subscribe cheyittilla nundengil adu cheythu nammala support cheya mattu reethiyil support cheyan aagrahikkunna aalukalkku adinte details description il undu ningalde oro like um share um adu pole comment idunnathum idelu ee video adinte thaale varuna comment galkku ningal pradhigarikkunnadellam thanne video ode reach koodunnathinu veliya thodil upagarapadunna sangathiyana appo adu kondu adil ningal erpadanam ennum koodi njan abhyarthikkayana മറ്റുള്ള രീതിയിലുള്ള സപ്പോർട്ട് തുടർന്നും നിങ്ങളുടെ ഭാഗത്തുനിന്നുണ്ടാവും എന്ന് പ്രതീക